Um, I want to take a moment, yeah, to get one of our callers up on the line. Um, Tanjil, she um, wanted to talk about latex allergies. So, Tanjil, thank you Hi, for calling. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi, How are you? Ah, great to hear from you. What's on your mind tonight? Well, um, so just before I do, anyone who hasn't seen Miss O'Kiss's latex outfits, you must go and see them on her Facebook page. They are uh -huh. incredible, gorgeous, and colourful. I really do want to know how you wash them. <laughs> 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 um, but, um, yeah, getting back to allergies, um, that's a really big thing. And you won't always know that you're allergic to them. Um, I found out the hard way <laughs> that yeah. I have an allergy to latex um, with an unfortunate incident with a sex toy. We won't go into detail. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, you really do need to test because it can be quite severe. And funnily enough, you... If you are allergic to avocado, you're yes. likely to also be allergic mm. to latex. They seem to go hand in hand. So I do have Is a mild... that like a rubber tree yeah. family type of thing? Uh, help me out. That's, I, I don't so. know. I don't know what the connection is. I just know that that generally goes hand in hand and that certainly proved true for me. So if you're looking at playing with latex really do some good tests, like have some latex around your wrist or, or some part of your body for an extended period of time so that it's not your entire body. <laughs> Before you put on the cat suit. Wearing Got latex. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I had a photographer once come to one of my fashion shows and she knew what she was doing and this was a choice that she made and she's an amazing photographer, super allergic to latex. And one of my models was a good friend of hers and immediately like hugged her and I saw her like weeks after and it was still <gasps> like, hmm. I was like, hmm. it's like poison ivy that moves. Why are you here? <laughs> um, <laughs> there are ways like for people who are allergic to it to work around it. Um, one thing I have not, I would never advocate trying things like, you know, going like full whole hog with it um, if without yeah. like doing a lot of research first. But like there's a technique called chlorination where it's run through chlorine, which changes the molecular Ooh. structure of the outside of the latex. So it's no longer like whatever the protein is that creates the allergic reaction is like no longer on the surface. So people who are allergic to it, who are really into it, have been able to use that as a way around it. Um, I'm a big advocate of PVC. Sometimes PVC gets a bad rep, and I think it's mostly snobbery, if I'm honest. Because <laughs> like really good <laughs> PVC clothing is incredible, and you can get a lot of. I mean, it's a different like sensory profile, sure, but it's still interesting, and I think people discount it a lot because sometimes it's seen as like the cheaper sister because it's easier to produce, so it does have a lower price point, but it's also really awesome and if you're not allergic to it fucking a <laughs> and it's also the worry Does it have like the same stretch though? um this is pvc that i'm wearing today and if you get like a really good one that's like oh. far away stretch ah, i can never remember where the camera works there we go it's super duper stretchy still um and oh wow can... yeah i've done like i I recommend it to a lot of people who want to do performance stuff because people would want to do latex and pole and latex and pole can work, but it's also not a very comfortable <laughs> companionship. Yeah. Um, and I think late and honestly, like PVC can be really fun and it is not related to avocados. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and I believe yeah. like latex allergies can develop over exposure and time too. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. even if someone yeah. is not allergic, they can get there. Um, I thought I was getting allergic to it. It turns out I'm allergic to talc and talcum powder is on the surface of a lot of stuff to like, you know, keep it, I guess, like basically for storage. So I got all this sheeting and I was getting yeah. really sick and I thought I was allergic to latex, but I'm actually super allergic to talc. Fascin and I was like, mm -hmm. oh shit. I'm always like, the, my time will come because if I've used it so much, I've touched it so much. I'm like, one day will this happen to me? Um, but yeah, like, yeah. I think like definitely it's like anything do a spot test like i know they say that when you dye your hair or buy a new skin treatment and nobody ever really does <laughs> but like <laughs> everybody wishes they did when it was wrong so 
I just oh, caught a flash of my own obituary in my head. You know, local <laughs> atheist extremist YouTuber <laughs> dies in, uh, you know, latex full accident. Body latex. Full yeah. body latex <laughs> accident. <laughs> and I've also had the experience of people becoming extremely claustrophobic after being put in a cat suit yeah. um, and freaking mm. out. So it's safe, like sane, and consensual kids always be careful with your kinks. I mean, even yes. like allergies yes. aside, I always recommend people start small because I meet people and they're like, I want to go full cat suit with a hood and everything. And I'm like, okay, but like maybe try it first because I've known people yeah. like a friend of mine, one of their friends really wanted to live on a boat. So they quit their job, sold their house to go live on a boat. And then they got in the boat and they found they hated being on a boat. But like, you really want to learn you hate boats before you decided to live on one and that's your home now. Like, I, I like to just try things small. Um, and yeah, like maybe try a band if you're worried about um, latex allergy. I mean, I guess like condoms is the way people tend to discover that they're allergic to it or um, like medical gloves. So they've mostly switched over to nitrile. So you can try like really mundane objects. You don't even have to buy anything to test for allergies. Like specifically fancy you could just get some rubber glo like latex gloves from heb <laughs> and that's like a yeah, real low bar tester and yeah, something like it's shots just is a good way to find oh sorry. sorry after you no, no, sorry, keep going. um i was gonna say like trying something like a pair of panties or shorts like if you feel that is really confining and uncomfortable you're probably not gonna like being completely covered in it because like it doesn't breathe like because we you know a lot of mm -hmm. um, respiration comes through the skin and it does not let that out um i had a pair of stockings that self-inflated once because they didn't i hadn't put the holes in them yet the bottom and i have to keep like venting it because like it, it was so tight like any any like um co2 that was coming out of the skin was getting stuck there um so like the claustrophobic feeling can be really intense because especially like because it covers everything and your skin literally cannot breathe. So yeah, it can be kind of uncomfortable. And I've had some of my models are like, I don't like this. And I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> well, which is, again, I think part of the appeal is how unappealing it can be and how appealing that can be. You know, I mean, every everybody's experience is going to be different. I think the, uh, the good thought here is uh, try everything twice. Right. Go into it like knowing that this first time is not going to be your last time. And so you don't have to go whole hog. You don't like your first pair of uh, like PVC or latex gloves does not need to be the end all and be all of your journey. You don't have to buy the whole cat suit today. Right. And I right. wouldn't. <laughs> They're very expensive. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. Well, the other thing I just want to mention was I actually don't seem to have a reaction to latex on my skin. It's only on the mucous membranes. So be careful where you test. That is a really good mm -hmm. point. Some people have uh, respiratory ones too. Like, I don't know exactly how that works, but mm -hmm. like I've known people who are allergic to just being around it. They can't even be in a room in it because like breathing in oh, something wow. really triggers it. Like. That's like a really intense one, and I feel bad for that person because, damn. <laughs> yeah, but that that also goes for the latex sex toys. Um, butt plugs are often latex, huh. and that is not a fun experience if you're allergic. <laughs> Ooh, not no. the best way to find out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to say one more thing about that. <laughs> <laughs> but really, like, I, I appreciate the call, though, because we had gotten so far down the line with talking about latex in general and talking about the potential dangers or, or things to look out for. Um, that's really, really important. So I appreciate the call, Tangel. I'm really glad that you, you took the time to have this discussion with us and to kind of get this part of the discussion out in the open. Um, not, not that we didn't say anything on purpose but i'm glad that you you brought it up because it was something that we had overlooked in our conversation so yeah we have another well, caller so we're gonna be moving on now but tangel thank you so much for calling 
Thanks, everyone. Bye. Oh, great to hear from you. You have a great night.